Okay, next step is I'm going to go ahead and remove the spindle or the the pedal uh, just to make sure that I can uh, just reduce weight and have a less to work with in terms of mass. It's easier to flip it over and it's also easier to start getting at that gunk. I went ahead and took this screw out. It's There's no bolt on the other side. It actually screws into a uh, like a plate on the other side. So that was nice. Um, nine millimeter uh, bolt right there. I'm starting to get into the crap um, that I'm trying to scrape off. So as I put this stuff in the parts bag, I'm going to clean it first. That way it's not going to get all sticky and nasty in the bag. And that way it's also going to sort of expedite the putting back together of this pedal. So that's another thing that you want to do. As you're taking stuff apart, go ahead and give it a little bit of a clean. Um, you know, it, it depends on how much time you want to spend on cleaning something. Um, as to your level of confidence with, you know, it working after the fact, I guess. Um, so if if it's kind of like a lost hope type situation and you, you don't think it's going to work, but you just want to rip it apart and put it back together as quickly as possible, um, you know, you, you might not put as much consideration into cleaning. This has sticky, nasty stuff on it, so we want to get rid of that, obviously, because if we're sitting in a parts bag, we don't want it getting grimy and nasty any more than it already is. But I also wanted to point this out. I went to remove the other one and the switch cover, which is crappy on the other side, uh, the switch cover is um, in the way. So you can't get a, a, a ratchet down or a, a socket down in there. So you open this up and what an awesome manufacturing addition here. So if I have an extension on that socket, it'll sit right in this groove, really nice. Let's get the socket and just show. That so if I have the socket, look at that. Once I get the battery out of the way, it's right there. In fact, I don't even need to get the battery out of the way. It's nice and uh, nice and cinched in right there. So that is awesome. Just another little uh, thumbs up to Ibanez for this particular pedal. So I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing so far. The other thing I'm really impressed with is all the stickers um, on the back of the or on the bottom of the pedal. This sticker here, um, you know, decals. So this is sort of like underneath. This is like clear. But all of the uh, printing, everything looks like it's in really good shape and there's not a whole lot of scratches on this thing. So I think it was just sitting dirty and nasty and not being used. So um, yeah, so so far so good. But I just wanted to point out that with the socket and then that with the, you know, the idea of cleaning stuff up as you're, you're taking it apart.